Hey, what's going on guys? ZTA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today, we're gonna be covering WonderSwan and WonderSwan Color. This is very simple to set up. We're gonna be using RetroArch to emulate both of these systems. We're gonna import them separately so we have a section for WonderSwan and a section for WonderSwan Color. First thing you're gonna need are some games. Now I have mine on my desktop, two folders, one named WonderSwan, one named WonderSwan Color. All of my games are zip. I'm going to go ahead and place both of these folders in my LaunchBox games directory. So I'll head over there now. My LaunchBox directory is located under users ETA Prime LaunchBox. I have a folder called games. And I'm going to go ahead and place both of these right in here. Let's go ahead and start LaunchBox. Now, in order for this to work, you will need RetroArch set up. If you don't have it set up yet, Jason and Brad have created some awesome tutorials. I'll leave a link in the description. As Soon as you get that set up, come back here and we can get WonderSwan set up. We need to download the core for RetroArch. You can always go to the directory where you have RetroArch installed, or you can right click on a game that is already using RetroArch and open RetroArch. From here, we're gonna to go to Online Updater, Core Updater, and we're gonna find the WonderSwan Core. WonderSwan slash WonderSwan Color. Press Enter. We're done with RetroArch. We can now close it. So LaunchBox already has a preset for WonderSwan. We're gonna have to add a preset for WonderSwan Color. We're gonna go to Tools, Manage Emulators, find RetroArch, double click, Associated Platforms. From here, we're gonna find the WonderSwan Associated Platform and Default Command Line Parameter. So all I'm gonna do is scroll to the bottom. I'm gonna copy the WonderSwan and I'm just gonna add color behind it. Now we're gonna take the default command line parameter. We're gonna copy this, and we're gonna paste it right here. Make sure this box is checked, click OK, and close. Now we have the emulator set up. All we need to do is import our games. We're gonna be importing these separately. First, I'm gonna import my WonderSwan games. Tools, Import, ROM files. Next, select the files to import. I'm gonna add the full WonderSwan folder that I put in my LaunchBox games directory. Next, platform for imported ROMs, WonderSwan. Next, choose an emulator. RetroArch should already be chosen. If it's not, you can drop down and choose it here. Click Next. Would you like to move or copy the files? I'm going to use the files in their current location because I already placed them in my correct directory. Would you like to download metadata for your games? Yes. Next. Here we can download the images for our games. We'll click Next. If this is your first time importing anything into LaunchBox, you might be prompted to sign into EMU Movies. It is free to use, but there is a donation option. If you donate to EMU Movies, you can download more music, box art, and video snaps per day. Click Next. Would you like to specify any custom options? Not for WonderSwan. Here's the game we're importing, the location of the game, and the file extension, mineerall.zip. Click Finish. It's going to download all the metadata and box art for us. Just sit back and relax. This could take a little while depending on how many games you're importing at one time. My games were imported successfully. I'm going to click OK. Now over on the left hand column we should have a WonderSwan option. We're going to go in here and check it out. 
Tons of great games in here. So it looks like everything scraped correctly. I'm gonna go ahead and start a game. And that'll be Pocket Fighter. We'll just go to Arcade Battle. And I'll choose Ryu. So this emulator works really well. And this game actually translates pretty good to the Wonder Swan. I really love this little Pocket Fighter game. Now I've seen some Pocket Fighter puzzles on console systems and things like that. But this is a true Street Fighter Pocket Fighter game. I'll go ahead and exit this game. Now it's time to import our Wonder Swan color games. Same thing that we did with the Wonder Swan. We're going to go to Tools, Import, ROM Files. Next, Add a Folder. We're going to find our Wonder Swan color games. Click OK. Next. Platform for imported ROMs, Wonder Swan color. Next, we're going to use RetroArch. Use the files in their current location. Yes, we would like to download metadata. Next. Next. Here's the game. The location. And the file extension. Click Finish. My Wonder Swan color games were imported successfully. I'm going to click OK. Over in the left hand column, Wonder Swan Color. Check out the box art. Looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and start Mr. Driller, but another really good game for the Wonder Swan Color is Dicing Night. I believe I have it in here. Very cool game. Mr. Driller, double click, and we're now playing Wonder Swan Color. So that's it for this video, guys. We really appreciate you watching. I feel that Wonder Swan and Wonder Swan Color are great additions to your Launchbox collection. A lot of this stuff is in Japanese, but there's some really good games here that do have a little bit of English translation built in. In a lot of these games, you will not even need to read the text to know how to play the game. If you guys could, hit that like button, subscribe to the Launchbox channel for more great news and content. Like always, thanks for watching.